Tom Fanning, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, look around you. This is the real New Green Deal. That's what we're looking at here, folks. This is America. This is what we can do together. And it's a great privilege for me to be on this stage with these men and women. I'm not going to go through and, and, and name everybody that's here that uh, uh, is, is been a part of this, but thank you. You know who you are. You've already been introduced by and large, but it's the men and women out there. Those of you who, as I was driving by and I looked into that parking lot and I saw these literally thousands of vehicles out there, realizing that it's the work being done on this piece of property right here, the wages that are being made, that American families are being taken care of. And that's the real story here. The real story about the new American energy era. That's what you're a part of. This country's got an incredible history. The way that this, this place was built, that it was, that it was carved out of this, this wilderness back 200 plus years ago. The future of America is right here in Georgia. I can tell you I've never been prouder to be an American citizen, to be a part of an administration that gets it, about independence, about freedom, about the clean new energy era that America is pursuing. Tom, I want to say thank you to the Southern Company for, for having the faith to, to each of you that has struggled as we've gone through this process to be here today to put that cap on. And Sean McGarvey, I, I want to particularly say thank you. Uh, it's, it's your men and women out here. Last time we were together, we were at an LNG facility over at, uh, on the East Coast. And we were talking about how important infrastructure is to this country for the men and women, who the jobs that are being created for them but also for the independence that, that we're giving to America, the geopolitics impact around the world is this LNG is, is sent around the world. And Tom is absolutely correct in about the, the, the message that gets sent on this plant. America is back in the nuclear energy industry, folks. We are back. We're going to be leading the world. People are going to be coming to us for the technology. They're going to be looking to America for the workers, for the supply chain. That's what this story's all about. And, and we've had our challenges. You look back and what's happened to the nuclear energy industry. Uh, you know, decades have passed since World War II when we saw the Manhattan Project and the nuclear energy industry uh, w was developed and it, and it saved this, the world from fascism. And then we saw the civil nuclear energy being built out, and after decades passed, you know, it was sadly it got deferred, and, and eventually, it even became reviled by some in Washington D.C. But today, under the leadership of President Trump, this administration, this Department of Energy, we have the goal of making American nuclear cool again and you are a part of it and you're making it happen listen this is part of an all of the above energy strategy uh, and, and I think this was highlighted pretty good Tom when we were in Houston last week at CIRA we had all of the energy uh, I mean people from around the world in Houston Texas last week and I talked about this new American energy era and, and it's that strategy we are Po poised to, to provide the world with a full range of energy options. And as one of those choices, nuclear energy, it's got some advantages that nothing else has. This is, this is quite remarkable. If you want clean energy that helps our environment, there is no cleaner source than nuclear energy. This is it. If, if you want reliable energy, 24-7, every day, doesn't make any difference what happens anywhere else, it'll be on. That's what nuclear energy gives. 
if you want true security for this nation, more energy security, if you want more economic security, if you want more national security, there is no reason not to include nuclear energy to the fullest extent possible in our energy mix. So, with all of that, I am delighted to announce today the final action in our commitment to this vision, the financial close for the loan guarantee that we will support the continued construction of Vogel Units 3 and 4. Yeah, baby. So I want to say thanks to the, uh, uh, the folks over at the loan office, John, you and uh, uh, your team. Great job of protecting the taxpayers' interest, the work that you've done. This is significant today. This is an important announcement. This is the only nuclear power plant in construction in the United States today. And it's the first in this country in more than three decades. So as one of the largest and I guess biggest construction projects, uh, you are undeni undeniably a, a job creator. As I look around here as I drove past that parking lot, what I could think about was there are families in this part of the United States that understands and appreciate what this administration's vision is for this country. That we're in all of the above energy strategy. That we're all about sending the message around the world. That if you want clean, reliable energy, America is the place you need to look. If you want to have an impact and a positive impact on the environment that we live in. Nuclear energy is where you need to be looking. These reactors that are in these plants, they're going to they're going to supply more than 17 million megawatts of hours of clean, reliable electricity every year. But I'll suggest to you even more importantly, it's the jobs that have been created right here in the families that I'm looking in the eye of. It's the men and women who are building America's energy future that I'm most proud of. That I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be a brother and sister, to have you as brothers and sisters as we go forward. We can increase our energy gains. We can expand our economic success. We can strengthen our country's security. And we can out-compete and we can out-innovate any rival in the world turn us loose, and we will show the world how to drive the energy industry around the world, and it will come from clean American energy sources. God bless you. Thank you for what you're doing. Let's go show the rest of the world how America leads in the energy front. God bless you, and thank you.